Said in the cover, don't let the cowboy hat fool you. I don't know. Uh, it, I don't know. I don't sound like Mick Jagger. <laughs> no matter what I do, I'm not going to sound like Mick Jagger. Uh, it's going. This song is going to sound country. Every song I do is going to sound country, no matter uh, who who sang it to start with. But anyway, uh, great song, and I had a request for this one as well. So anyway, appreciate y'all tuning in today. Uh, my name is Keith Williams with Fretmore Guitar Lessons, where we fret more, stress less, and make a whole lot of music. And I believe Hank Jr. actually did a, a cut on this, too, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's got a, a cut on this. But anyway, uh, Rolling Stones, I believe, original original ones on this one. Um, and I'll show you both ways of doing this. I, I did the cover, capoed up, and I'm doing it in F, but I'm doing it in E position. And I'm going to show you this one because this one's like a whole lot easier to sing. He does it in G, or they do it in G. And I'll show you, I'll show you both ways. But... Uh, uh, Mick gets up there on the, especially on the chorus, it whew, jumps up. The last line of the verse jumps up too, but I could kind of hit that, but the, <laughs> the, the chorus is crazy. So, I mean, even though it's just a step, uh, I just dropped it down one step really. Um, but still, it, it's, it makes a difference. It really does. So anyway, we're going to jump right into this uh, great song here and I'll show you uh, what I'm doing and, uh, and then I'll show you kind of what they do as well. All right, so like I said, capoed up one. Uh, it's going to be an F, but we're doing it in E position to make it a little easier for us. And we've got an A in there, okay, or you can get an A with three fingers or two fingers or one finger, uh, whatever you want to do there, B7. And then we're doing an F sharp in there too, okay, uh, in the verses, uh, one time each in the verse. Okay, now let me, uh, I'll just show you their, their version as well since I'm here. Uh, uh, they do it in G, as I say. Um, so they do a G, C, and a D, and instead they have sharp, they do an A, okay? So you, you don't have the, the funky having to do the F position chord if you do it in G. But uh, it's G, C, D, and A, okay? But, uh, as I say, just, uh, you know, just depends on your voice and where you're at there, and and, and that, that goes for any song really. Um, uh, I try to you know teach the songs in the key that they, the original artists do it in. But the thing is, uh, you know, uh, depending on what version you do, you know there may be you know ten artists that came out with this, and of course there's always an original artist obviously, but uh, uh, depending on what version you do, you know they may sing it in a different key, and, and that happens a lot. So uh, anyway. So I did it, like I said, I did it in F because of the, the vocal range for me. I, could, I just couldn't do it. And I'm not doing all the, the uh, cool guitar licks. There's some uh, great, uh, matter of fact, Justin Guitar, I believe the name of his channel, Justin Guitar, uh, he does uh, he does a, uh, a lesson on this, a uh, lead lesson, and it uh, sounds really cool. And uh, there were some other guys, too, I just remember. For sure, Justin did a, a version of it, and it uh, sounds really good. So if you want to learn the lead part and electric part, um, and, uh, you know, it's not real difficult, I don't believe. I mean, it just seemed like it was a pretty straightforward, uh, you know, licks and things. But anyway, uh, but of course, he shows it in the open G. Uh, but anyway, just tonight, I'm just going to do the chords here. And uh, all right, so I may show you, I'll show you one little lick that they do in the A position. All right, so I'm just, I just kind of started just kind of a... Alright, so this, this is one lick that they're doing. It's all on the B string, and uh, I don't know if that's an A, that may be an A sus, but it, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, but, uh, so we're just kind of going over here onto the third fret on that B string and just I'm just plucking that up so do it twice and then kind of a pull off or just open a little, little bit of a pull off there okay and uh, now what they're doing I'll show you that part too just for fun uh, when they're doing or I say that's what they're doing it sounds like what they're doing when they're going they're doing a G so when they go to the C That'd be our A, okay? C, they're kind of going to the, to the F position. So they're just grabbing that uh, E string 
uh, on the first fret. Okay, you're doing that. So anyway, just to give you a little extra uh, lesson there, free of charge, uh, and you get you get both G N and F uh, lesson. Okay, so that's how that goes. So try to take me upstairs. Here's our F sharp, and if you're doing it in G, that would be your A there. Okay, but F sharp, and that's the only time. Uh, like I said, there's two verses to this song, and it happens the same time for each verse. Take me upstairs for a ride, and we're going to be safe. Back to ease, you had to give me a ride across her shoulder. So there's our lick again. Okay, and I'm, I'm doing, I don't know if I said, I, I think what I said on the, I was doing just the B string. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing the grab of the E and the, and the B string there. All right, so uh, uh, here's the show. And this word goes up here. Cause I just can't seem to drink you be seven off my mind. Okay, and then we go into the chorus. The chorus is really simple. It's two lines is all it is. And this is kind of where it goes up. It's just going to go to E and B seventh on the chorus. Uh, or if you're in G, it'd be G and D on the chorus, okay? Okay, all right, so it goes something like this right here, just like the beginning, uh, what I did a little intro there at the beginning of this video. It's a hard B7 women. Give me, give me, give me B7 the honky tonk blue. Okay, and that's the song right there, it's the whole deal. Uh, the, uh, the next verse, um, we go to, uh, it's the same, I'll just kind of talk this one. Late a divorcee in New York City. Hey. Okay. And back to E. I had to put up some kind of, there's our F sharp, of a fight be set. Now to E, the lady, then she covered me in roses. Hey. Okay. And then back to E. She blew my nose and then she be set. Okay, now, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not. I think I did. I said something about uh, what I played on the cover. But anyway, I did a cover on this. I've been doing covers on most of the, the lessons so that you can go in and play along with the cover, watch the changes and everything, learn the lesson here, and then you can go in and play along and follow along with the cover as well. And that way there's no stops and there's no, you know, anything like that. We try to keep it, you know. But during the lesson, I stop and talk a lot and and move my hands a lot and do, do stuff like that, do, you know, tricks and things, try to uh, slide a hand, that kind of thing. <laughs> but anyway, so anyway, like I say, I do the cover so you can go, go and kind of check those out and, and play along and, and, and there's no stops and all that stuff going on. Anyway, all right, so there's, that's, that's the, the uh, second verse, all of that one. And then you go right back into the chorus again. Uh, it's a honky tonk women. Give me, give me, give me, be seven. Honky Tonk Blues, back to E. And then what I did, they do a little break there. Uh, Keith Richards is doing something crazy probably. And again, Justin is probably teaching that. I'm not sure, but he probably teaches that that part too. I didn't see that part. Uh, but I know he does the beginning lick and all that stuff. Anyway, um, uh, so give, I'm giving Justin a plug there anyway. Uh, so I, what I did is I'm just kind of going, I'm kind of humming in my head a little bit and going through a little bit of the chord progression. Going to A. And that leg back to E. Now B7. It's a home. And I go and do that chorus. I think I do it twice actually on the cover. You can do it as many times as you want to. Like I say, you get in a live situation, you know, people be. Uh, cheering that song on probably you may have to just sing the whole song again it's just it's kind of a shorter song uh unless you're doing a, a long lead part there you know a break in the middle uh but anyway yeah you can do that chorus a few times and then just uh give me give me give me the honky tonk what i'm doing there is i do uh sometimes i'll raise both fingers or i say both fingers i've got three fingers there but but uh, my my uh, middle two 
fingers, what did I say? My middle and my third finger and uh, ring finger. Uh, so sometimes I'll raise both of as an ending. Sometimes I just do my ring finger, which is really an E seventh chord. So that works too, either way you want to do it. I don't know what I did on the cover. I do it different, just whatever I'm feeling, whatever kind of mood I'm in, and you never know what kind of mood I'm going to be in at any given moment of any given day. So anyway, <laughs> so uh, be sure to check out the cover and be sure and uh, um, uh, check out our other guitar lessons as well. Don't have any other Rolling Stone lessons yet, but this is the first one. First one. You never know, though. Uh, but anyway, I uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, be sure to subscribe to us. Give us a thumbs up on this one. Check out our links down below in the description. Share us on social media worldwide. And uh, check out our other videos. And like I say, all the lessons out there. Lots of lessons and lots of covers as well. Hope you have a great night. We'll see you next time. Thanks.